Good morning, everyone. Um, we will start with the Anima Christi prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints and angels, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. This prayer is attributed to St. Ignatius of Loyola, but it has a way beyond his time when it was actually uh, in existence. I invite you to Google it. All right. The reason of this uh, recording today is to walk you through to find your drive and your files in the drive for the ministry account. And basically, this is going to help you to find uh, the Google Drive in any of account, any of the accounts that you have. All right, on a new window, you're going to look at the window right here on the right hand side that this icon um, is the one for the account. Now, if it is not, this is not, this is for my school account, uh, you're going to click on it and it will list all the accounts that you have signed in. Um, I have previously, previously signed in all the accounts to activate them. So uh, let's say by any chance that your account is not here, which I already know that you have all access, but just in case you go into manage accounts, your account is not listed, so you go into Manage Accounts, and then you add the account right here on the top, okay? All right, I think everybody knows that, so let me get out of here. Now, um, in order to go to our drive, so I'm gonna select one of the accounts, all right, and immediately the icon will change. This icon again identifies which account you are signed in. All right, if I were to click on the Gmail, um, it would bring me to my Gmail account or the Minister 3 Gmail account. Now, this uh, set of three by three dots, which at school they call the waffle, so I'm going to call it the waffle, lists all the applications that you are using or have activated in your Google account. The one we're looking for is the drive. The drive is the storage box somewhere in the cloud that saves the files, your digital files in Google. Click on it. The files that you will see on top are the most recent ones, are the ones that have been edited most recently. All right. Now, for this account, uh, Minister 3, you have probably not saved any. Most of the files that you have are the ones that are shared, that I have shared with you. So you go on to Shared With Me. Remember, all this is on your drive for the ministry account. So you check on share with me. And um, I have organized all the activity forms in folders according to the session. All right. So this is the session of Margaret and Mariela Cock, the timeline session, the first celebration, the holy hour. All right. Uh, all of them have been shared with you and they have the title of the session. You click, let's see the holy hour one. Uh, now this icon indicate here that I have shared this with all these members. If I were to click on one of this, uh, by the way, the forms are um, titled, labeled with the three acronyms of, acronyms of the group that you are leading. 
and we all have access to all the forms. Let's click on this one. Being that said, because we all have access to all the forms, please do not edit the section of the questions because all the forms will be affected if you do that, okay? Um, now, so the section of the questions will show the, the questions such as the participants see them, all right? I'm going to go on to another one. So again, please make sure you do not edit. And if by any chance you do it by accident, just let me know so I can fix it up. Again, if you were to touch on the a section of here and edit it, it will affect all the forms that have already been submitted. Okay, so your two choices when you enter into the form are questions and responses. Now the questions is a section for the participants that have the questions as they are presented to them and the responses. In the responses, you see the participants that have submitted forms for that activity, all right? Uh, on the responses, you have first a summary, then you have the replies by question. All right, what well, was in the first one? Oh, here we have Marie and Hema. All right, and then you have them by individual. Probably this is the one that you want to concentrate the most on. By individual, you're going to see what did each person answer at each point, at each question, okay? Uh, and um, so the main idea of letting you know or walking you through the participant forms is that um, it seems that it would be great if we can email the participants the ones that have been working with us, primarily the ones that have been doing it every week. But by extension, all the participants, as we do not uh, fully know all the ones that might have been checking uh, the site and the activities, as a couple of them emailed and said they were not going to be participating in the live session, but they were going to be uh, doing the activities on, the, in, uh, on their own. Now, so um, we can... Uh, number one, check the activity forms, look at the replies, enjoy them. Number two, email the participants, um, the ones that you have been interacting with, and also, if you could, all of them, just to give them some tips about the Sacred Heart. You can share with them whatever you would like, the prayer of the Sacred Heart, the promises, um, talk about the fees, and uh, last, please share your email with them, um, preferably the ministry account email and you have access to it. You can check in from time to time. Um, if we feel comfortable and they reply to you, then you could probably give them your um, personal email. But to start, just let's stick to the ministry account emails. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Okay, this is all for now. Um, okay, the last thing I want to um, share with you is just in case, I know we talked about it or, and I mentioned it, but if you have forgotten, uh, in the session of uh, First Celebration of the Feast of the Sacred Heart, I introduced this little button on the, uh, of the Sacred Heart Mass, and it's here it's on the uh, button of all the groups, and... It's because you have access to uh, the missal and the readings for the Mass on Friday. So um, please feel free to check them out. They are conveniently located for you. So this is the, the whole right for the Mass of the Sacred Heart. And uh, with that, I'll say thank you. I'll see you, and let's remember the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We have Mass this Friday. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.